the humble taxi. Dark, dingy and downright expensive it may be. But when you're heading home after a night on the town, what other choice do you have? Well, as it turns out, not much choice at all. Because government regulations essentially decide who can supply taxi services, how they can supply these services, and what prices they are permitted to charge. These regulations mean there is little competition between operators for business. This, in turn, has led to the poor quality and high prices we all complain about. But there is a good basis for the existence of regulation. Imagine we lived in a world where anyone with a car was allowed to provide a taxi service. Suppose you made a decision to get in a taxi. Would you still make that choice if you knew your seatbelt wasn't working? Or the GPS was broken? Or the driver had a history of speeding? In economics, we say this is a situation of information asymmetry, where one party in a transaction has superior knowledge. This can cause the consumer to make an adverse selection, engaging in trade they would not have engaged in if they had better information. Information asymmetry is an example of market failure. This market, left on its own, has not produced the best result. But the regulation leads to subpar outcomes as well. Enter Uber. Uber has created an app that connects drivers directly with people who want to ride. Its use of technology seems to fix the information asymmetry and in doing so might well solve our dilemma. Here's how. Uber screens its drivers and keeps their details on its registry. By using GPS tracking and issuing digital receipts, it can tell its customers exactly who drove them and exactly where they went. Customers can also leave a review for their driver on the Uber website, which will remain there for other customers to access. So drivers have an incentive to provide a quality ride. But what about pricing? Uber uses a variable pricing model, which monitors for busy periods and increases prices accordingly. Uber doesn't have any direct control over when its drivers choose to drive, but by increasing the prices, they encourage more of their drivers onto the road. In turn, this increased number of drivers dampens the price. So in theory, Uber's business model might propose a solution to problems of both price and quality. At the moment though, its drivers are operating illegally because they don't have taxi licenses. But if Uber and other companies like it were legalised, their ability to keep price and quality in check might reduce the need for regulation. The taxi industry, of course, will resist this. It is already placing pressure on governments to crack down on the operation. But in the long run, the benefits offered by companies like Uber may prove too enticing. You can find out more about this area by following the link to our website.